want to transform your videos from this to this. Let me show you how in just five simple steps. In my 16 year journey, I've made plenty of videos that looked cheap. I used to watch movies, commercials, or music videos and think, of course my videos don't look as good. They have huge budgets, big crews, and cameras that cost more than my car. But then I saw solo creators and small crews making some of the best videos I'd ever seen. Why? I'm gonna share the five areas you can focus on to make your videos look more professional and expensive. These aren't just random tips. They're patterns that I've noticed after studying hundreds of videos and learning what separates the cheap from the polished. Even if you already know these tips, the real magic happens when you actually apply them. Because once I was reminded of their importance and started doing them, I saw my work improve dramatically. If you follow these steps, I believe you'll not only create videos that you're genuinely proud of, but also open up opportunities to charge your clients more. The first step to making your videos feel high budget is to be intentional about your effects and transitions. I used to scroll through Instagram and TikTok and I would see these crazy transitions that would just melt my brain. It was fun spending hours figuring out how to recreate them and then use them for my own videos. And it felt rewarding because people loved it and I started getting comments asking how I did those sick transitions. But the problem was that this created a vicious cycle where I felt like I needed to keep adding more and more effects to grab people's attention. Over time, I didn't realize that I was developing this insecurity where I believed if I couldn't figure out a transition for every cut in my video, it would suck. But think about it. When was the last time that you watched a truly inspiring video that had flashy transitions every second? Did it feel high quality because of all the film burns and overlays they used? It's really easy to get caught up in the excitement of learning and using the latest cool techniques, but I found that the more that I added, the cheaper my video looked. Don't get me wrong, eye-catching effects can still spice up your video, but I think the key difference between looking cheap and high quality isn't just the effect itself, it's the intention behind it. If you're just throwing in transitions to make your edit look cooler, your video will drown into the ocean of others doing the exact same thing. But if you strategically place a few transitions that enhance the pacing or fit with the theme or move the narrative forward, your videos will feel so much more professional. Even if you're using effects to make the video cooler, because I definitely do the same, save them for the right moments. Giving it breathing room makes these effects or transitions shine so much brighter. When you start being intentional about them, your videos will not only look better, but they'll also feel way more polished and professional. Incorporating voiceovers is another way to elevate the quality of your videos. To combine the sound of the engine with the light of a new beginning. When I was editing playing card promos, this might sound a little bit funny, but one of the biggest challenges was to make them not feel like playing card promos. After all, they're just pieces of paper in a box. Why should anyone care? But the key was to focus on the story behind the design and craftsmanship, which opens up endless creative possibilities. For example, I worked on a project featuring playing cards with a bat design. Instead of simply showcasing shots of the card and the box, I thought it would be sick to wrap it in this fantasy narrative and the cards would be like this demon being summoned from the underworld. And what better way is there to convey this story than with an epic narration. Take a listen. For centuries, demons have been conjured from the underworld. Infamous for their malevolent nature, they have been often associated with nocturnal animals, like the bat. That Yorkshire accent was the perfect touch to really pull you into the atmosphere. While set tech and cinematography are crucial for world building, I believe it was the voiceover that truly drove the narrative and really expanded the world that I was trying to create. That's why I'm so excited to announce that Artless is sponsoring this video to introduce their brand new feature called AI voiceover. This powerful text-to-speech tool generates the most realistic narrations I've ever heard. It's a new day, rise and shine. Let's kickstart your morning with unstoppable energy. With a vast catalog of voices to fit any video style, all the voices are exclusive to Artlist and recorded by professional voice actors. Just type in your script, hit generate, and listen to this. Introducing the modern, fuel-efficient way to reach your destination. Walking. Enhancing your production quality with voiceovers has never been easier. Plus, I believe this is an ethical option for those who can't always afford to hire voice actors, but still want to support real talent on Artlist. They offer a separate plan just for voiceovers, but it's also included in their Artlist Max plan, which covers everything on their platform. If you're ready to find the perfect voice for your story or elevate your videos with top tier assets, you can actually get two months free off any of their annual subscription by using my link down in the description. I've been holding myself back from using their AI voiceovers for every 
every video that I make because it just sounds so good. But I do have a passion project coming up soon where their AI voiceover will be essential for my vision, so stay tuned for that. For now, let's dive back into the remaining three ways to make your videos feel more polished, and thank you Artlist for sponsoring this video. So the reason I've been holding myself back from using AI voiceovers all the time is that not every video needs a voiceover. However, thinking about audio has significantly enriched my videos. This brings me to one of the best ways to enhance your video quality, better sound design. I have noticed that the quality of videos I watch keep improving each year because more editors are paying attention to how sound affects the viewing experience. But just like how throwing in more transitions won't automatically improve your video, adding more sound effects isn't always the solution. I have found that the key to high quality sound design is making your audio feel more full. And how you do that is by paying attention to the high, mid, and low tones. Take this whoosh sound effect as an example. By itself, it sounds like this. It's not bad, and sometimes I'll use a single sound effect when I want to keep it subtle, but if I need more impact for a big visual moment, then I'll add a lower whoosh like this. Now it sounds heavier because we're hitting the mid and low tones, and if I want to add more sharpness, I'll layer in a high tone whoosh like this. Now we have a little whoosh sandwich. Here's what it sounds like on its own, and here's the layered version. Now, not every sound effect needs to be a whoosh sandwich, but paying attention to the low, mid, and high tones has opened the door to making my videos feel high budget. Now, let's switch gears and talk about visuals. The number one thing that immediately screams cheap in a video for me is bad color grading. I'm not just talking about videos not feeling cinematic enough because there's not enough teal and orange. I just see so many videos where the color matching between the shots are completely off or it was shot on a flatter profile and then they didn't bother grading it at all. Sure, you can slap on a LUT from your favorite creator and call it a day. Sometimes I do it too. In fact, I've been guilty of terrible color grading for a good chunk of my career. I'll spend ages tweaking sliders by tiny increments, and then I can't even tell what looks good anymore. But paying attention to color grades from your favorite movies or music videos and trying to replicate them turns it into such a powerful tool to make your work feel high budget. I still fail at replicating the color grades that inspire me, but through those failures, I've slowly developed a better eye for what looks cinematic. Now, I'm no like professional colorist, but I found that the main things that work for me is do the colors match between my shots? Do the skin look natural? And does the color grade convey the mood that I'm aiming for? If one shot is overexposed or just has a cooler tone for absolutely no reason, then it looks like lazy work. If the skin tones don't look like actual skin, it just feels amateur. And if you slap on a teal and orange LUT on your romantic comedy, then Michael Bay might just come and explode your computer. Taking the time to color match and color grade your footage can drastically change not only the mood, but also the quality of your video. So some of these tips can be applied right away while others might take a bit more time to master. But no matter where you start, putting in that extra effort makes such a big difference. Which brings me to the final point, do the things others aren't willing to do. You don't need a million dollar budget or 30 person crew to make your videos look professional. Now, of course, these things help, but it all starts by putting in that extra 10% effort that most people wouldn't. Let's say you edit hip hop music videos, for example. Now you could just have the music track playing on its own throughout the entire video, but if you add some sound effects at key moments, it might make the video feel more immersive. I shot a promo video for a handheld smoke machine, and instead of taking the easy way out, which is cropping or covering the friction arm, I put in the extra 10% effort to erase it completely. If you're curious about how I did that, I've got a one minute tutorial right over there. Now I get it, it seems redundant sometimes, and piling on more labor doesn't always mean that it'll make things better. But thinking about how you can go that extra mile will always pay off. Even if your viewers can't pinpoint why, your videos will feel so much more polished and professional. And I'm not trying to justify being taken advantage of by your clients or never hiring extra help. It's about having the drive to grow as a creator, to refine your craft, and to appreciate all the little details that come together to make something impactful. That extra effort is worth it for the moment that you step back and think, wow, I did that. 